RNG was probably one of the, the worst level one fighting lineups, I'd say. Not the greatest array of spells what do you and mean? skills. You have Nyx Look at this. <laughs> it's stun. one stun and then I'm done. <laughs> and now Kaka is blocked up by the Treants. Yamich is there and Ramsey just pounds him into the ground. Give they the first blood to the Ramsey's. Prophet. And there it is. Outsiders with a much better start here to game two. Power with a net worth acceleration. TA with a meld. There's a little bit of chip damage here and there. I don't think she'll be able to keep up on that Doom. Down bottom, Anna Phantom Lancer with the X Nova Dazzle as Ramses gets himself a third kill. Picking off Kaka while Chalice. He's trying to battle back into Hakoda, but another concussive shot and Ramses coming in. He's going to TB forward. Go get him! Go get him! Hakoda finishes him off and nice dies the tower and before the Knicks can come back into the lane. Beautifully done. And outside, it's a different team. Completely different team to what we saw in game one. Templar Assassin, 17-10. Starting to really dominate Somnus in this mid lane. Is this what you expect, Lacoste? I don't think you have a kill threat on Doom until you get level six in terms of support rotation. Oh, Nyx Assassin, he's gonna drop. Yeah, they do get the Skywrath Mage. Ramsey's gonna try he's and TP out. home. He's safe and sound. Picks up another set of gloves. Still level five. And uh, brought the Tiny and the Sky in there. Can't find the Doom though. They will guard out that top rune and actually uh, it's been forced out by Kaka. They needed to pick it up and not Double allow the body block <laughs> just to give last hit to GPK. I mean, his bottle's empty though, so he's still a little bit sad. Well, down bottom lane, DM. A Lycan on his way back towards tier one. Poison touch, very irritating, and the Phantom Lancer. And he's going to look to dive in the Shadow Wave heal. Does damage across to Lycan. Phantom Lancer allows that X Nova Dancer to get the kill while Chalice up top, TP'd upon by the Prophet. Ramsey's dominating. Spectacular scenes as his Hand of Midas is nearly complete. He feels like he can go for it, uh, having that uh, fast power treads, getting two kills before the lady stage even started. Uh, he can't afford to go for it. Uh, seven Somnus. minute Hand of Midas. Somnus. Maybe a turn on the tiny. Thinking about uh, getting that Doom up, but uh, so is Outsiders. They want to get this done. Toss back into the TA, the heal, and the grave play. They've got the poison touch to come out while Somnus, and he's kept alive by X Nova. Trying to dive under this tower for the Templar Assassin, but they get the kill on the Doom first. The tip from GPK as Chalice finds Yamich in that mid lane as well. RNG responding with numbers. Ramsey's unfortunate. Flip. Uh, going for that hardcore scaling. Going to be able to keep up with the PL heading into late game. Uh, Somnus. Tagged by the Wrath of Nature. Arrival of Kaka and oh, Exnova, and they back. toss this the creep. Uh, leaves Yamich wide open, but the turnaround, the grave, saves up the Nyx Assassin of Kaka, but the side blade hit from GPK, perfectly placed. GPK finds and a Ramsey's, really good angle. Ramsey solo died to Chalice. So I'm not sure who's supposed to deal yeah. with the, those treants and the wolves. It's also Helm of the Dominator creep on top of that. Is this, is this where Anna just you know, TP's top says GLHF boys? I'm, I'm out of here. He's sticking around though. DM gonna dive on the tower. They are just annihilating that X Nova Dazzle. And Phantom Lance, well, he tries to turn on a dime towards Hakoda. Chalice helps out. Anna get the kill. And they've defended that tier one bottom lane. They brought the numbers. Everyone except Kaka. Kaka's now gonna be keeping mid. Does get slowed by the trap. GPK. The backup coming in from Yamich as well. Find a quick and easy one on the next assassin. Somnus and X Nova. I don't know if they can finish off Yamich here. And the traps to slow the concussive shot through from Hakoda too. They doom the TA though. They've baited GPK to stay down on the low ground with a toss back across into the creep cap. Should that's a good toss. Allow back. the He's TA to survive. Be, He's gonna be living. 
That's nicely done. Yamich did pay with his Gun life, but most importantly, the Crimson Guard. Like, okay. one, one of the items that I mentioned before, like when I saw the three Radiant cores of Scan. Outsiders, and now, right now they're inside Roche Pit. Yeah, I, I guess if your main worry are the core heroes, right? The physical damage from Outsiders. More from that cores. Mystic Flare, though. Blowing up Somnus, maybe now he needs a BKB as the Stomp lands on two. DM, microing that Sentinel straight into battle. Lex Nova sliced by him and now Chalice, body blocked. Yamich in front of the Viper, clearing through a couple. Hakuna picks the double kill and Anna, oh he's TPing home. Oh That's no he's not. Oh no he's not. A team wide for outsiders, Roshan wide open. And a beautiful performance coming out of every single... It looked a little bit interesting but Sky Tiny so far uh, they're hitting the mark. They've got all their spells perfectly placed. And if they can pair up to get a couple more kills, Insta Silence on the next assassin. Mystic Flare in there as well, but the grave comes out. Toss across. In we go with the two man avalanche. Chalice dead, and it looks like Somnus might just follow, but they get the Aegis take. Kaka and Somnus sprinting away from the outsider's aggression. Radiance bottom tower. So not too bad for RNG. A Viper death for an Aegis. Could slow the tempo of Outsiders, or maybe not. X Nova tossed back under the Observer Ward. I'll try and keep it alive for now as well. They have another one. They have two Observer Wards in this area. One has kind of got the small camp and the one that they just placed, which is going to get the deported. Oh, bye-bye, Kaka. Uh, instant silence. I mean, you, you talked about it. You picked it up. One of the greatest spells against the Nyx Assassin, that this Ancient Seal. Out, Gary. It's a uh, mark for two supports on the Outsider previous game, but they've been on point Radiant's this time around. Moving across the map, uh, securing uh, all the runes, uh, providing, like, look at how aggressive their vision is right now. Very few places that RNG can play into, and Ana is getting picked off by the two supports. The Gank Squad. Kicks into fifth gear and finds yet another one. And now RNG left scrambling, wondering what they have to do to, to get anything on this map. GPK! Oh, oh my goodness! Oh, he's still gonna get stunned and caught. Yeah. I, this deserves a tip. Tip like, him. This is where you tip him. Tip him, I beg. Challenge still caught in the tree, sprouted up by Ramses. Gets the Lotus Orb off on himself. A couple of poison attacks in towards Hakoda, but they've got the concussive shot and the jump from Yamich. Oh, the carapace just comes out a little too late. And GPK gets, gets a kill double kill. <laughs> okay, that's that's something. A bit uh, ready to go. And this is level two ulti, so a lot of damage coming through. Does have a four staff as well. One of the better items you can get overall against what RNG has. If they initiate with someone on someone with the next assassin, Yamich. Uh, catches the next with the avalanche. Slow for the TA trap, and in comes GPK. <laughs> Blows up the bug. They still know Dude is not available, so have another 30 Radiant's seconds. Ramsey's deeping in, has four Mjolnir, has a 9 second BKB. Toss back. Chalice ceases to exist. And they got the silence on the Dazzle as well, so no grave there to save anybody. Well, Anna and Somnus will try now to front line and defend what remains of their buildings. But GG is in fact just called. No coming back. And tying up this best of two series one to one. It looked like, you know, from game one, RNG might just sweep this, but outside is punching back in game two. We mentioned that there was a need for a change in draft uh, for outsiders to be able to match what RNG had and uh, pleasantly surprised.